Freshwater fish farming has become increasingly important in Africa because it's an affordable and sustainable source of animal protein. CSIR researchers are collaborating with their counterparts in other African countries to validate novel diagnostic assays developed at the CSIR to detect viral diseases affecting African aquaculture. The challenge is that there are two diseases, uh, infectious pain and kidney necrosis virus and tilapia lake virus, um, which are severe pathogens affecting the aquaculture industry, resulting in mortalities of up to 80%. The challenge is that there is no commercially available diagnostic kit to detect these diseases and it's important to detect these diseases for epidemiological purposes to basically identify the presence of the virus. So these two viruses result in extremely high mortalities, so between 50 to 80 percent. So farmers suffer massive losses, economic losses and losses to their feedstocks and fish farms themselves. So in order to access international markets and export markets, farmers need to prove that their fish are free from disease and tilapia lake virus and infectious spleen and kidney necrosis virus are two important viruses in this regard. So having this technology available for detecting and diagnosing these two viruses will help and benefit the aquaculture industry both in terms of uh, proving uh, freedom from disease and that enables uh, trade and export uh, markets or access to export markets and then in terms of the spread of the viruses themselves to minimize and reduce the impact of uh, any outbreaks. In addition, it means that the many subsistence farmers retain access to their affordable and nutritious protein. Suleiman says the CSIR's work is part of a broader African program with collaborators from other African institutions to support the region's aquaculture industry across the SADC countries. He says the CSIR's area of expertise lies in the development of novel diagnostic technologies and tools for detecting a variety of viruses and infectious pathogens that affect the veterinary and aquaculture industry. The CSIR was approached to develop diagnostic assays and the kits for the infectious spleen and kidney necrosis virus and the tilapia lake virus because these kits are not available commercially. A farmer cannot go out and purchase such a test. The CSIR team has recently returned from field trials of the technology in Ghana, where the researchers worked with their counterparts at Ghana's Council for Scientific and Industrial Research Water Research Institute. Suleiman says, since the field trials and validation have now been completed, the CSIR will look into commercializing and licensing the technology to a suitable commercial partner. One of the, the highlights of working at CSIR is developing technologies that have a real-world impact and will actually benefit the, the industry. So in, in this particular case, it's the agriculture industry across South Africa and across the African continent. And that capability is, is very, very, very unique to CSIR. It's a very, very special feeling to be able to develop that kind of technology that actually has an impact and will be benefit to a particular industry.